Oh, hey, <laughs> you're back. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing like that. I just didn't expect you to be back so soon. I thought you were still preparing before you left for the Holy Empire. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I'm glad you decided to come spend some time with me before they pick you up. Oh, you're having second thoughts now? <laughs> you were telling me so excitedly while you were taking care of my curse. Just how much you were looking forward to go study there and learn more about this world's medicine. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did still hear everything while I was under that curse. For instance, <laughs> when you were telling me about the world you came from, or when you read me books that you found in my library. While I couldn't do anything because of the curse, I was still very much conscious the entire time. Yeah. For the ten years in which I was cursed, I was conscious for every moment of it. At first, when I got cursed, the other elves would take care of me every day. But nothing they did seemed to help. So... Eventually, they just stopped coming, and almost no one aside from the village elder would <laughs> even occasionally come to visit me, or even bother to keep me company for nine whole years. For nine years, they just stayed out and only prayed for my return. I do feel a little bit bad for whichever god had to listen to them. <laughs> that is, until you. After you found out about my curse, you snuck to my side every night without any ill intentions or prejudice against me for being a different race than you. You treated me as if it was the most natural thing in the world to do. You took care of me, and slowly purged the curse from my body with your own magic. So, as much as I don't want my own personal savior to go, this isn't about me. This is about you. And what you want to do. So. What's making you second guess going to study so much? Oh, I know. I know that change is scary. Even when it's change that you want. <laughs> but we both know that you'll be happier once you're there. Of course I'm right. I've been around for a little while. Hey, I may be a high elf, but I'm not that old. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. But it's not like you're never coming back. I'll still be here waiting for your return. Four years isn't that long for a high elf, after all. <laughs> you know what? Here. Give me your hand for a moment. It's a surprise. Just close your eyes, okay? Focus on the warmth of my hands on yours. Do you feel that tingling? Yes, just like that. And 
and done. And you can open your eyes now. That's my insignia. You can think of it as having a part of me with you at all times. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. That seal is... kind of the high elf way of saying that. I call dibs on you. <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. <laughs> but... It's not just a pretty mark on the back of your hand. It's also my protection over you. And a promise. A promise. That if ever you are in danger, I'll come rushing to your side. <laughs> oh, come here. You still have some time left before you're set to leave, right? In that case, why not we just spend some time here and relax? I won't be seeing you for a couple years after all. And since I know that everything's going to go smoothly, there won't be any need for me to rush to your side either. And so, I need to get my fill your presence ahead of time. Yes, normally a couple of years would be nothing to a high elf like me, but for some reason, whenever you would leave after keeping me company and taking care of me, waiting for you to come back somehow felt longer than the nine years I spent alone under that curse. It's okay. You don't have to try and find words for it. Just feeling your presence relaxing into me. And all your stress disappearing from your body. Is more than enough of a response. After all. Actions do speak louder than words. Right? I believe you were actually the one who told me that. Now, go ahead and close your eyes. Up until now, you've been the one taking care of me. I think it's finally my turn to take care of you. <laughs>